Chattanooga Cares was established in 1986 and we received our nonprofit status in 1988, so we've been around in the community for over 30 years. Uh, we are kind of the lead HIV um, organization in the area, so without Chattanooga Cares, a lot of the services that our patients receive would just not be here. Without the support of the Ryan White program, our services here would basically look non-existent. Um, Ryan White is really the cornerstone of all of the services that we're able to provide to our clients. There's lots of clinics that will kind of satisfy the medical aspect of our clients' needs, but because we have kind of a wider scope of what we can do for a client, we can also meet their emotional needs with my services as well as client services. When, when I first got here, I, I, I used to use a substance abuse program. I used a mental health program. And plus, I used to get half to tender cares. We, you know, focus on the primary HIV care, um, but we also take into effect their behavioral health needs. So we, we do a depression screening at every visit. Um, we go over social history, look at any drug and substance abuse that they may be having, struggling with. We integrate um, mental health services into the treatment of HIV because it happens all the time. I know it's a big comorbidity with people with HIV have substance abuse issues or mood disorders on top of that, as those two also have comorbidities. So without the mental health component, I don't think we'd be as effective as far as adherence for HIV medications or engagement in other services and general well-being. It's very important for us to um, help our clients with not only HIV care, but also the behavioral health care, because integrating both of those can help our clients have um, a healthier life. There's a higher incidence of behavioral health issues with people who are HIV positive, um, and that could be um, just because of their demographics or the struggles that they have to deal with as a, as a community or um, just the anxiety that they have with their diagnosis. And so I think without that component, um, there'd be a lot more issues when it comes to medical adherence, um, individuals taking their medication, and also just from a social service aspect of um, living a full and complete life. Um, the impacts we've seen here at Chattanooga Cares with behavioral, medical, and HIV care has been more engagement in care, more retention, our viral load suppression rate is 89.5%, um, which has gone up significantly in the last couple of years. And our retention rate has also increased to 73% over the last couple of years. Tiny kids is uh, all kinds of neat. They, they, they show their love. And that once, you know, when we come in, doctor appointments, uh, most I like is because they, they loved us. They love our clients. To see their smiles when they receive services from our market, let alone housing. Um, just the fact that they can just call back and I hear sometimes some say, I'm really happy about what I received and you don't know the difference that you made. The fact that I can make an impact on people is the best, the best part. If we did not have the support of Ryan White, we would not have much in, in means of behavioral health. Um, it, really helps us as a last resort to assist with housing, with food, um, counseling, medical case management, and accessing their medications. No patient goes without getting care. 